What is going on YouTube and friends? You're here chilling with the real Sir Cho Shayoki. In today's video, I'm bringing you an exciting one from Hi-Fi Gaming Society. Really excited to be bringing you another blockchain gaming focused video. So what are they in a nutshell? Essentially what they are trying to do and what they are building this awesome ecosystem around is they are doing for blockchain gamers and professional blockchain gamers what YouTube has been able to successfully do for content creators, but they're actually gonna be doing it in the crypto space and doing it in a much more decentralized and much fairer manner for these blockchain gamers. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the website, bit of a deeper dive. We're gonna be looking at the light paper, checking out the team, checking out the tokenomics. I'm gonna to tell you where you can pick up the token and basically how you can get involved. If you like blockchain gaming content like this and you wanna find the place to find the new hottest blockchain games and blockchain gaming ecosystem projects, then make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on. And always do remember to do your own research for investing because these videos are never financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Alrighty folks, so we are at the official Twitter here for Hi-Fi Gaming Society. Make sure you go ahead and give them a follow. Again folks, all the necessary links for Hi-Fi Gaming Society will be in the top of the description of this video. They've got over 5,000 followers and growing strong. I've been hanging around on Twitter from March of 2021. So let's just have a look at the pin tweet here. Great question from this fella here. Hi-Fi DeFi wants to know what the process to list amazing art on Coinbase NFT is. NFT collections launching soon preview of our first collection and have a look at this artwork folks I have to be honest I love the retro feel and I think that's some great art that could probably go a long way once they're sort of manifested potentially into some NFTs or some artwork there. So pretty, pretty juicy as well. And I like to see that they are pretty well engaged with their society here, okay, and with their community here, okay. So as we can see, posts from just 11 hours ago and just recent posts. So seeming like they're popping on sort of one to two, maybe even more posts per day. Alrighty, folks, so we're over on the website here, loving this retro feel. I think that's gonna actually fit in quite nicely with a lot of old school gamers and current sort of maybe professional gamers and new blockchain games I think they're gonna really appreciate this artwork I think it's pretty pretty cool so let's have a bit of a read through folks and have a look so hi-fi game society is convinced that gaming will become a prominent way of life in a decentralized finance couldn't agree more the current DeFi doesn't offer the serious gamer a pathway to professional gaming on the blockchain Hi-Fi will capitalize on this game-changing opportunity, folks. The main goal is to essentially build a journey for gamers on the blockchain. Together, we'll define what it means to be a blockchain gamer. Together, we'll evolve the incentive model currently existing between gamers, developers, and studios. Hi-Fi Gaming Society's platform will do for game developers what YouTube did for content creators. Imagine a collaborative ecosystem at the intersection of DeFi, gaming, yield, rights management, rewards, and NFTs. Really cool. Alrighty folks, so we've got some nice transparency on the team here as well. If you want to scroll over to the team section here, we can get a bit of a look in here, okay, as well. You can scroll down again. All these links will be in the description of this video. So let's go over and have a bit of a browse over at the white paper, okay? So if we actually have a look here, folks, they've actually already integrated 50 plus games for launch and will slowly release each game, making them available for gameplay and reward in the opening months. We'll launch a few games at launch to give everyone the experience and listen contently for the feedback. So really cool to see that they got 50 plus games on launch. I think that's really cool. And I just want to stop here for a moment. Really love this piece of artwork here on the light paper. Okay, we've got all the screens here. Okay, the setup's really cool. It's a, you know, not your typical sort of setup, I guess, for, you know, your typical office setup here, but it's more suited to sort of a gamer or someone who's into cryptocurrency. Nice piece of artwork on the wall there. Like that they have you know, it seems like they've put a bit of time into this website and the artwork there and gotten a good artist to draw something up. So that's definitely a good sign and a good green tick there for me. Have a look at some of the Hi-Fi tokenomics here, folks. So for the IDO, there's 20% going there. For the Genesis gameplay mining, we've got a good solid 30%, which I think is good because obviously that's going to be over a long period of time. So good to see a larger allocation there. We've got 20% to the advisory support and the ecosystem, 15% to the game developer support, and 15% of the team, which is actually pretty generous for the community, okay, being 30% uh, for the Genesis gameplay mining, and we got the uh, supply cap there as well. 
All right, folks, let's take a bit of time here to just really understand the problem at the moment and what HiFi's solution is going to be. So the problem here, folks, is few DeFi funds have been able to capture and keep their communities engaged. And that's true. This lack of engagement and the difficulty of knowing active membership has led to big swings in participation and fund value. The industry needs a way to bring members together to pull their funds and keep them actively involved month after month. Gameplay is the way. Couldn't agree more. You know, if, if a game's fun, it's incentivized to play through play to earn, they're definitely going to keep more engaged and keep coming back for more. So what is Hi-Fi DeFi's solution? It's to connect DeFi users and facilities, active participation in group managed pools with gameplay, performance-based loot, and token-based fund governance. It's a combination of gaming and DeFi that's never been available before now. Play a game to literally mine assets to your wallet. The product will require users to stake deposit tokens onto the platform to activate certain features. Users will stake Hi-Fi tokens to 1. Activate the actual gameplay. 2. Activate the rewards you can earn for playing games. That's the earn mechanic there. And 3. You can actually buy items for boosting your rewards, possibly in the way of NFTs. Really nice. Then if we continue scrolling down here, ladies and gentlemen, we can take a look at what they've got going on for the gaming as mining. Okay, just a bit of an explanation so you can understand that. The Hi-Fi DeFi ecosystem is built around gaming experiences. Beyond that, chat groups like Telegram, there aren't many applications that can maintain engagement with the DeFi community members. Hi-Fi DeFi uses a simple retro-themed gameplay with real loot drops to incentivize regular daily engagement. Okay, so that's something I really, really like too. As far as the token ecosystem, the Hi-Fi DeFi uses an innovative ecosystem to balance staking, playing and mining and eventually that governance voting. So I think that's going to be really important to look for as well. So not much on the NFT front at the moment, okay, but eventually HiFi DeFi is also creating non-fungible tokens, aka NFTs. These collectible and tradable NFTs will provide a boost for rewards, okay? So that's really cool. So you're going to be incentivized to grab these NFTs to essentially get more back on the play to earn mechanics, okay? As for the gaming platform, players who stake HiFi tokens can play and earn HiFi tokens while participating in gameplay daily logging into the site and other rewards criteria okay so essentially guys the gameplay participation results get recorded on the blockchain with a public smart contract okay so that's the power of the blockchain the blockchain gaming really really nice so how to play and earn games are highlighted when available for play when a new play session begins the user will see signals on games for rewards available or unavailable the game play varies with each game and there will be instructions provided controlling gameplay and mechanics for each game as they are retro games, the controls are simple, mainly keyboard keys. Really exciting, guys. Definitely one I'm going to be following along with. And the info on the mining participation rules as well here. Okay, guys, so if we keep scrolling down as well, there's going to be some more information about the membership benefits and the actual project structure here. Okay, and as for the token ecosystem, guys, participants can stake HiFi token, which are needed to play the game and for earning rewards. We did speak about that before. Okay, and as for the member activities, folks, basic users must stake X for gameplay, X amount of the coin. Premium users must stake a little bit more for gameplay, okay? So I think that's fair enough as well. Coming over to the governance here as well, okay? So the rights of Hi-Fi DeFi, its assets, systems, and games will be governed by Hi-Fi LP token holders, guys. So if you're a liquidity pool token holder for Hi-Fi, for hi -Fi, you're going to be able to have a vote on governance in this project, okay? So all yields and other assets are held in public fund contracts and can be withdrawn by holders that are proposals and voting process, okay? So, and if we just have a bit of a look at the roadmap, what they have accomplished so far, in 2021 in this early stage of the project, okay? So the initial DEX offering has been completed, the case of the IDO is done, they've had their audit clearance, the play service has launched, and the earn service has launched, and we've got the boost service launch among lots of other ticks to follow on for the rest of 2021. And I actually just want to have a bit of a look down for the sort of tail end of 2022. So really just looking forward a little bit to sort of see where they're at in that sort of one year period. So a hi-fi metaverse activation and beyond augmented reality infrastructure, guys. So they're sort of wanting to get into maybe some VR and augmented reality and creating a bit of a metaverse as well, okay? Two player and versus mode creation. So a really sort of you know, one-stop shop for retro and maybe even some modern gaming down the line. Alrighty, folks, if you do want to jump on the wait list, I highly recommend you go and do that. It's free to do. You're just and click this little button here again all the links will be in the description of this video and you can just fill out this google sheets form and go ahead and easily do that okay so and now if you actually want to find out how you can actually buy the hi-fi token folks it's actually really simple we're going to go over to coin gecko and just have a look at how the price is doing at the moment so for the last 24 hours folks we are up 9.6 percent okay still hasn't got a rank yet on coin gecko but that should be coming pretty soon actually if we just scroll down it's been performing pretty well 
really great over the last 30 days, up 17%, 9.6% over the last 24 hours. So still a very low market cap coin, ladies and gentlemen. So it could be a really good low cap gem to get in if you're a believer in this project, okay? I've got a bit of a bias towards blockchain games and blockchain gaming ecosystem product projects. So this is probably one that I'm personally going to be getting involved in just maybe with a bit of a stack to start and see how it goes, all right? If you do want to pick it up, folks, you can actually go over to ApeSwap to do it, okay? So they've got a pair with HiFi against Banana and HiFi against WBNB. You're going to need a MetaMask wallet and attach a custom blockchain Binance Smart Chain to do that. You're going to need to load that wallet up with some BNB and use that WBNB once you're on ApeSwap to actually get your HiFi there, okay? So drop a like on this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video about how to do that in the future, okay? So you can actually get signed up here as well, folks, all right? Highly recommend you jump in the Discord as well as their Telegram community here too. Alrighty, folks, that is all I have for you in today's video about HiFi. What did you think about this project? Let me know in the comments section if you think it's a viable project, if you think that they are going to be around in the next two to three years. What's my personal summary of this project? Look, as I did say, before, I do have a bit of a bias towards the blockchain gaming industry. I think it is the industry within cryptocurrency that does have the most potential, even over DeFi, over the next five to ten years. It's nothing new. You need to understand that gaming and people that are addicted to gaming, they play blockchain games now, right? Professionally, it's starting as a connection and collaborations with esports as well. This is not new, okay? People love to game. People are spending more time in this digital economy, this digital world, and they are going to be wanting to have a place to essentially maximize their gains, maximize their profits, and sort of solidify their careers. Just like myself, I'm trying to sort of solidify a career on YouTube. Blockchain gamers are going to be wanting to do this potentially on a platform like this. Hi-Fi here, okay? So again, let me know in the comments. I'm feeling pretty bullish on this one. Like with any other sort of early stage project, you do have that risk, okay? that isn't sort of that track record there that haven't been around for too long but again do your own research and make your own decisions all the best out there we'll catch you in the next video cheers